Hi everyone, I'm Kate Wu. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to paint some more black and white ink. Let's get started. I'm going to use this dyed rice paper today. It was dyed with chestnut shell, so it's brownish, giving it an antique look. Let's get some ink. We are not going to need a lot of ink each time, depending on how much you want to paint because we will never reuse this ink. I'm painting some ducks. So this is the back of a duck. This is a very thin rice paper, so I'm not going to take a lot of ink. There are a lot of different types of paper, and every time when you buy a new batch, you always have to test it because I believe they are still handmade. So even if they said that it is a certain type of paper, like this is a half white paper, I will still test it because every time the water absorbance is a little different. And this chestnut dyed paper is quite thin. It's very close to a raw paper instead of half white. I bought this from my teacher a long, long time ago, and I don't think that it is available anymore. I like to use ink to paint on this type of paper and I've tried to add some color on it. Orange color, red color works okay, but I've never tried blue or yellowed or um, some other color on this background paper because I just don't know if it's gonna work. Well, one of the very good effects on this colored um, or dyed paper is the snow effect. So maybe like in some future videos then I will demonstrate that. And one of the reasons why I like Chinese painting is because you can just use very simple tools. Like I'm using only ink and one small brush. In case you don't really know what I'm painting, um, these are the dried lotus leaves. And I'm building up a lotus pond for these ducks. I think this is the first time that I am demonstrating a painting with a lot of elements on it. And it takes time to build it up, particularly when I haven't done any draft. Basically, the way that I paint is that I have a rough idea in my mind because I've been painting it for so long that I have a rough idea. And then I will start to paint. And a lot of the time then I improvise as I paint along. Like for this one, I am painting a scenery and I will slowly build it up. So I'm painting the main focus on the right side and then I'm painting some larger leaves. And then now that I'm balancing it out on the left side, I'm adding a few um, smaller leaves. One of the challenges of painting a scenery or um, a painting with a lot of elements is that if anything goes wrong, it may ruin the entire painting. So I have to be very careful and paint and think and look at the same time. You can imagine how much effort there is and how long it's going to take to paint a large painting with a lot of elements in it. Now you are seeing a normal speed. I mean, this is the speed that I am painting and it's real and I will soon start to fast forward it because as I build it up and um, I think that this video is getting a little long and I don't really want you to get bored so you can pause if you want.
Now I'm dotting the eyes on the ducks. If you've been following my channel, you probably noticed that this is usually the end of the video, but then um, because of this sophisticated painting, I'm adding a bit more as I review it and see if there was anything that I should really add to make it look nicer. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna go back and add one more duck because I noticed that it might be better to have one more in the front. You probably don't see what I'm doing if you're not using a really large monitor and I am dotting some spikes on the stems but I'll show you a close-up later so um, at the end of the video so that you can see it. Now I'm painting another ducky. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would be great if you do so, so that you don't miss out the new updates. I will see you next time.